Good morning, guys. My name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. It is a hot one out, but we have jobs at the shop today. So we have this Camaro in, and uh, this may look familiar if you are a regular on the channel. This actually came in about a year ago at our old shop, our old garage, and uh, it had a paint enhancement and a one yearish ceramic coating. It was basically the, the spray coating that we used, and it can get up to a year when properly maintained. And this customer did a great job of maintaining his vehicle. The paint is still very smooth and glossy, and true, the coating I think is pretty much dead, but he was maintaining it with Bead Maker, and I gotta say, he, he did an excellent job. The paint is still smooth, we didn't have to go aggressive with a clay mitt or clay bar, but basically washing it and drying it, and now we are applying protection on all the plastic and uh, rubber, and then we're going to apply a spray sealant. So here's what we're going to apply. So for the front grill, we use the spray and seal from Sonax just because of the ease of applying this product. It's an annoying front grill with that black painted plastic. So cleaning it and then spraying that on, rinsing it off, seals it in very easily. So all you have to do is dry it. Uh, we use the Drift Shampoo from Total Detailing Auto Surface Protection. Love that shampoo. And we're going to apply the Puris Jade A68 Reboot. So this stuff is a ceramic silica spray. It can be a standalone, or you can top the polish that you can use the combo. Let me show you. So here's our all-in-one cabinet, and here is the Puris Jade A60 Caliber. So this is a ceramic polish, and this stuff you can use as an all-in-one. It is awesome. So easy to use. It reminds me of the ease of use is like 3D Speed or the uh, Tech Choice Ceramic One-Step Polish. It's just so nice to use, awesome stuff. So you can use that to polish, to enhance the paint, and then spray on the sealant, kind of a one-two combo, great stuff. So the paint is in such good condition still. We polished it about a year ago, and it still is awesome. So we're just gonna apply that sealant and uh, make sure, well, we already dressed all the plastics and, and uh, the rubber trim. Uh, wifey over there already hit all of that. So all we need to do is we'll spray that ceramic spray on the wheels also and dress the tires. And this thing is already shaping up. Now we are doing a full detail, so the inside will also be cleaned. I don't know if I'll show any of that at all because it's not much to show. Uh, she already cleaned all of the leather. Does it still need to be conditioned? It does. Okay, so the leather still needs to be conditioned, but it looks nice. I love that color, isn't that awesome? And uh, we just need to do a vacuuming in all the carpets and wipe down some of those surfaces down there, but that's about it. Now there is some dog hair in here, but, oh, it's not bad at all. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Just a little bit. Ooh, oh, oh. Huh. You find the French fry? I sure did. Mmm, yummy snack. Do you, do you want it? No, it's for you. Mmm, you know what? The best thing to do with a French fry that you find like this, I can tell, let me, let me see. Yep, definitely McDonald's. So, I mean, there's only one thing you can do. I mean, it's crunchy, but yeah, still pretty good. All right, so let's get to applying the uh, A68 reboot. So now you can either, a, sp a spray, now you can spray, now you can either uh, you can either uh, spray it on to the paint. You can either spray it onto the towel or or to the paint. Let's do it uh, onto the paint. But don't over apply this product. You really don't need to. It applies really nice. But if over applied, it will cause a little bit of smearing. We've used this outdoors on mobile jobs, and it it performs great. So I would say, yeah, that may have been already too much on the paint. So I'm gonna spray it onto the towel instead. Because I think spraying onto the paint, I don't know, it just adds too much. Apply it nice and thin, because this goes a long ways and you don't need to over apply it at all. And it'll leave a nice slick finish.
So this stuff is nice to work with, but as with any type of spray product, spray sealant, if you over apply, it can smear on you. But uh, we are in a controlled environment and just use multiple towels. Make sure to gently hand polish away any of that smearing and you'll be good to go. So just finished all of the paint. So here's a little bit of overspray on the glass. I thought I got that last time, but I guess not. So I'm gonna remove that now because that's, that's just ugly. That can't stay there, see? So I'll show you how to remove that. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of quick detailer, just a little bit, and a nice sharp razor, and you're going to gently, gently remove that overspray and just go right up to the edge of the plastic, of the trim, and you'll hear it. You'll hear shearing off that overspray. Just gently go around the edge. All right, use a little bit more. And you can do it dry like this. It's, it's still a little bit wet. You can see it a little bit better. There we go. The Camaro is done. It is looking beautiful. We just finished up the tailpipes. They were pretty grungy. We need to get those nice and clean. That can kind of make or break the detail, I think. Yeah, if those were left dirty, it just would not be cool. So everything is done. And to get into the back glass here, it is a challenge. If you see back there how tight it is, it's crazy. I had to climb inside and use a little mitt here. Now you've seen, well you've probably seen um, other videos that I have where I have these other little cheapy mitts. Uh, they actually have like a little thumb um, part of their, you know, of the mitt. But this is a higher quality one and I believe this is from Auto Fiber. And it, again, it's a mitt but it's a super plush thick mitt. Much better quality. Um, still gets the job done. You can actually use this on paint if you want. But I don't. I use it for interior glass because you can put your hand in it and be able to get into tight areas of the windshield and the back glass. Now you could use a tool like this. I have this, it's called a bulldozer and it's uh, actually for tinting but you can put a towel on that or even the mitt and be able to get into the back glass if needed. But if you put your hand in this and use it like that, and use it to clean the glass. I usually will, this is the wet side, you can kind of tell the fibers are mushed down. This is the top of my, of my palm, and I will get in to the edge of the windows and clean, and then when it's time to dry the glass, I simply put the towel, like this, on top of my palm, like so, and then be able to get into those areas again and dry them. And the towel sticks on this because it's microfiber to microfiber. It kind, of, it kind of attaches to itself. So it's a good way to clean hard to reach areas like this in the glass and even these tiny little windows inside, they can be annoying. So it cleans it really, really well. So that's my little secret is using microfiber mitts like this to clean the inside of the glass. It's nothing new. Many of the guys have done it, but I thought I would share that tip with you. So this is looking good. Customer will be here in a couple of hours to pick it up. And we have another vehicle coming in, another regular customer we've had for many years. And uh, they have a nice older Avalon, a little older than ours. And we're gonna be doing a full detail to that also. So.
So the Avalon is pulled in and um, this is a regular customer of ours. They keep this thing in pristine condition. It's awesome. It's an 06. It has uh, just shy of 100,000 miles on it. But man, this thing is in such great condition. We love Avalons and I love this pearl white. Oh, it's beautiful. So it didn't need a lot of heavy claying. The paint is already smooth. The protection, whatever was on here, eh, it's barely hanging on, but um, everything is dried now. And what we're going to do is apply a spray sealant and we're going to use the Art to Shine Bio Nano Pro. So we'll shake it up and we'll apply it uh, per panel. This stuff is pretty easy to apply also. Basically wipe on, wipe off. So we're going to use Art to Shine's Citrus Cleaner. It's a pH neutral cleaner. And we mixed it 10 to 1 in this little bottle here. So that's what we're going to use for the interior. We're almost done now with the Avalon. We just have to do wheels and tires, glass here and there, touching up on the uh, paint. And that will be pretty much it. Not a ton of steaming or shampooing needed in here at all. We just used a lot of the leather cleaner from Meguiar's and the Art to Shine Citrus Cleaner. This was diluted one to 10 for interior cleaning. So not a super um, high dilution ratio uh, for deep cleaning or anything like that. Just 10 to one is great for wiping down of surfaces and cleaning things. It will tackle some stains on the leather and the carpet or fabric if needed, but this really wasn't a heavy duty cleaning type of job. But this thing is looking awesome. The paint is looking oh, so glossy and it's slick. Really, really enjoyed using that Bio Nano Pro from Art to Shine. So this is the stuff right here. And you can get about two to three months protection with this stuff, which is pretty cool. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. The Avalon is done. We're just putting the mats back. And uh, I used a tire dressing that you can get locally. And I know some guys may not like that shine, but some of our customers do. So you can knock this down with the towel if you so choose. But this is Chemical Guys Tire Kicker Tire Dressing. It's just, you know, it's one of their water-based dressings. You can buy this stuff locally. They, they sell it at AutoZone and Walmart and all of that stuff. I had it in here from a trip that I took up north and I didn't have any chemicals, so I just went to the store and bought some. So, whatever. I'm not really that picky about tire dressings. As long as the tires look nice and clean and they're dressed up, then that's all I care about. And that's all our customers care about as well. Um, so I have other nicer dressings that I can use, but it doesn't matter. I like to use a variety of stuff. Whether, you know, people on YouTube like it or not, it doesn't matter. If it works for me, it works. The Avalon is now done. It's looking great. So yeah, this is going to complete our day. So as usual, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the products or the tools that we used in today's uh, video, then check out the links down below in the description. And if you see something here that's not there in the description, just message me, let me know and I'll try to find you links to those if you are interested. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.